Hello everyone, welcome to Current Affair MCQs program. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was consider the following statements with respect to investment forum for advancing climate resilient agri food systems. One, the Niti Aayog Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare and Food and Agriculture Organization jointly launched this forum in India. Two, the forum host discussions on six key areas including gender mainstreaming and digital infrastructure or solutions. Which of the statements given above is or are not correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option D, neither one nor two. That is both the statements are correct. The National Institution for Transforming India, the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare of the Government of India and the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations jointly launched the Investment Forum for Advancing Climate Resilient Agri-Food Systems in India. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The initiative aims to create an investment and partnership strategy fostering climate resilient agri-food systems among various stakeholders in India. The forum facilitated discussions and deliberations on six key areas namely climate resilient agriculture, experiences and pathways, digital infrastructure and solutions, financing climate resilient agri-food systems, domestic and global, climate resilient value chains, production practices and inputs for climate resilience, gender mainstreaming and social inclusion for climate resilience. Hence, statement 2 is also correct. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, with reference to the sixth schedule of Indian constitution, consider the following statements. One, it contains special provisions for the administration of tribal areas in the four north eastern states of Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Manipur. Two, the tribal areas within these states are to be administered as autonomous districts. Three, for each autonomous district, a district council is to be constituted comprising a maximum of 50 members. How many of the statements above are correct? One and two only, two only, two and three only or one, two and three. The correct answer is option B, two only. It contains special provisions for the administration of tribal areas in the four northeastern states of Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Mizoram under Article 244-2 of the Indian Constitution. Hence, Statement 1 is not correct. The governor is vested with the power to organize, reorganize and alter the boundaries or names of autonomous districts. Hence, Statement 2 is correct. For each autonomous district, a district council is to be constituted, comprising a maximum of 30 members. Of these, no more than 4 members are nominated by the governor, while the remainder are elected through adult suffrage. Hence, Statement 3 is not correct. Therefore, Option B is the correct answer. Next question is regarding the gross value added. Consider the following statements. 1. GVA measures the value producers add to goods and services during production. 2. It's calculated by adding the cost of inputs to the total output. 3. If we deduct the depreciation from GVA, we get net value added. How many of the above statements are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none of the above. The correct answer is option B, only two. GVA measures the value producers add to goods and services during production. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It's calculated by subtracting the cost of inputs, intermediate consumption from total output. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. It's a key component of gross domestic product reflecting economic growth. GVA growth rates provide insights into sectoral performance, aiding economic analysis and policy making. GVA is equal to GDP plus subsidies on products minus taxes on products. If we deduct the depreciation from GVA, we get net value added, that is NVA. NVA is the value of output less the values of both intermediate consumption and consumption of fixed capital. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is with reference to the 0R, consider the following statements. 10R is an Indian parliamentary innovation and not mentioned in the parliamentary rules book. Two, the time gap between the question R and the agenda is known as 0 R. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. 0 R is an Indian parliamentary innovation. It is not mentioned in the parliamentary rules book. Hence, statement one is correct. Under this, MPs can raise matters without any prior notice. 
द जीरो आर स्टार्ट इमीजिएटली आफ्टर द क्वेश्चन आर एंड लास्ट अंटिल द एजेंडा फॉर द डे इज टेकन अप द टाइम गैप बिटवीन द क्वेश्चन आर एंड द एजेंडा इज नोन एज जीरो आर एंड स्टेटमेंट टू इज करेक्ट देर फॉर ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट वन फूड सेफ्टी एंड स्टैंडर्ड्स अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर प्रोटेक्टिंग एंड प्रमोटिंग पब्लिक हेल्थ बाय रेगुलेटिंग एंड सुपरवाइजिंग फूड सेफ्टी एंड क्वालिटी इन इंडिया ऑपरेटिंग अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर स्टेटमेंट टू द फूड सेफ्टी एंड स्टैंडर्ड्स एक्ट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड सिक्स कंसॉलीडेट्स वेरियस लॉज रिलेटेड टू फूड सच एज द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ फूड एडल्टेशन एक्ट नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फोर द फ्रूट the meat food products order 1973 and other acts that were previously handled by different ministries and departments which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statements both statements are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1 both statements are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1 statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is incorrect or statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is correct The correct answer is option B. Both statements one and two are correct, and statement two is not the correct explanation for statement one. Food Safety and Standards Authority of India is responsible for protecting and promoting public health by regulating and supervising food safety and quality in India, operating under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Hence, statement one is correct. The Food Safety and Standards Act of 2006 consolidates various laws. related to food such as the prevention of food adulteration act 1954 the fruit products order 1955 the meat food products order 1973 and other acts that were previously handled by different ministries and departments hence statement 2 is correct both statements 1 and 2 are correct statement 2 is talking about the food safety and standards act 2006 not about the function of fws ai therefore option b is the correct answer Next question is consider the following statements with respect to Mag Bihu. One Mag Bihu also called Bhogali Bihu or Maghor Bihu is a festival of harvest celebrated in the state of Assam. To the festival falls in the month of October and marks the end of the harvesting season. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only two only both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option A one only. Mag Bihu also called Bhogali Bihu or Maghor Bihu is a festival of harvest celebrated in the state of Assam hence statement 1 is correct Bihu's history dates back to ancient times when people offered fire sacrifices to improve their harvest the Dimasa Kachari tribe is recognized as the earliest ancestors associated with the festival the festival falls in the month of January and marks the end of the harvesting season and statement 2 is not correct therefore option a is the correct answer next question is consider the following statements one next car 19 is india's first indigenously developed chimeric antigen receptor t cell therapy two india is the first country in the world to have its indigenous car t and gene therapy platform which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option a one only Recently the Central Drugs Standard Control Organization has granted market authorization for Nexcar 19 India's first indigenously developed chimeric antigen receptor T cell that is CAR T cell therapy hence statement 1 is correct India is now one of the first developing countries to have its indigenous CAR T and gene therapy platform India is not the first country in the world to develop the technology hence statement 2 is not correct therefore option A is the correct answer Next question is regarding the carbon border adjustment mechanism tax consider the following statements one it is a key element of the eu's fit for 55 in 2030 package designed to slash greenhouse gas emissions by 55% by 2030 compared to 1990 levels two it will specifically target imports of cement iron and steel aluminum fertilizers electricity and hydrogen which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option c both one and two the cbam is a key element of the eu's fit for 55 in 2030 package designed to slash greenhouse gas emissions by 55% by 2030 compared to 1990 levels hence statement one is correct the cbam will specifically target imports of cement iron and steel aluminum fertilizers electricity and hydrogen 
Hence, statement 2 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is recently the term bracketing seen in the news is best described as consumer inclination to purchase various product variations like shirt sizes intending to return unwanted items. A cartel of cement producing companies recently launched Bitcoin or none of the above. The correct answer is option A, consumer inclination to purchase various product variations like shirt sizes intending to return unwanted items. In recent times, shoppers have been displaying new behaviors, a new phenomenon called bracketing is on the rise. This term describes the tendency of a consumer to buy multiple versions of a product such as different sizes of a shirt with the intent of sending back the ones they don't want to keep. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is regarding CEC and other ECs, Appointment Conditions of Service and Term of Office Act 2023. Consider the following statements. 1. The selection committee will consist of the Prime Minister, Speaker of Lok Sabha and the Leader of Opposition, Leader of the Largest Opposition Party in Lok Sabha. 2. Recommendations of the selection committee will be valid even when there is a vacancy in this committee. 3. A search committee headed by the cabinet secretary will propose a panel of names to the selection committee. How many of the statements given above are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option B, only two. The act replaces the election commission conditions of service of election commissioners and transaction of business act 1991. The CEC and ECs will be appointed by the president upon the recommendation of a selection committee. The selection committee will consist of the Prime Minister, a Union Cabinet Minister and the Leader of Opposition, Leader of the Largest Opposition Party in Lok Sabha. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. Recommendations of the selection committee will be valid even when there is a vacancy in this committee. Hence, statement 2 is correct. A search committee headed by the Cabinet Secretary will propose a panel of names to the selection committee. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Last question is consider the following. Statement 1. National Green Hydrogen Mission will help entail the decarbonization of industry steel mobility and energy sectors reducing dependence on imported fossil fuels and feedstock. Statement 2. Under the mission states and regions capable of supporting large-scale production and or utilization of hydrogen will be identified and developed as green hydrogen hubs. Which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statements? Both statements are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1. Both statements are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1. Statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is incorrect or statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is correct. The correct answer is option A. Both statements 1 and 2 are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1. It is a program to incentivize the commercial production of green hydrogen and make India a net exporter of the fuel. The mission will facilitate demand creation, production, utilization and export of green hydrogen. It will help entail the decarbonization of the industrial mobility and energy sectors, reducing dependence on imported fossil fuels and feedstock, developing indigenous manufacturing capabilities, creating employment opportunities and developing new technologies such as efficient fuel cells. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Green hydrogen hubs, states and regions capable of supporting large-scale production and or utilization of hydrogen will be identified and developed as green hydrogen hubs. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Therefore, option A is correct because both statements 1 and 2 are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1. Now, it's time for the practice question. Production Gap Report 2023 is released by which of the following? International Monetary Fund, United Nations Environment Programme, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change or World Bank? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.